Let's start. The project name is Recycler View Pagination. Let's see the project structure. Here we have the main activity, a model class, and an adapter class. And in the UI, we have activity underscore main.xml, which is the layout of the main activity. And a row underscore item.xml file, which defines the layout of the recycler view. Let's see the UI. Here we have the recycler view. The height and width of the recycler view match the parent. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. And this is the recycler view. In the row underscore item.xml file, we have a text view. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. And this is the text view. Let's see the Java code now. This is the model class, with a string variable name as the data member. This name variable will be shown in each row of the recycler view. These are the imports. This is my adapter class. These are the data members, which contain an array list of the model class type. This is the constructor. In the onCreateViewHolder function, we inflate the row underscore item.xml file and pass that view into the viewHolder class. In the bindViewHolder function, we fetch the data from the model class, one by one, and show it in the text view. In the getItemCount function, we calculate the total number of rows in the recycler view. This is the viewHolder class. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. Here we have an array list of the model class type and an array of strings, which we will use to fill the recycler view data. The data array will be used to populate the recycler view initially. And when the user scrolls at the bottom of the recycler view, then the data to array will be populated by the pagination. In the get data and data to functions, we fetch the data from the array and put it inside the array list as a recycler view needs the data in array list format. In the onCreate function, we have created an object of my adapter class and passed the array list data in it using the getData function. Then we set the layout of the recycler view as linear. There are several types such as linear, horizontal, staggered, etc. Then we set the item animator and item decoration attributes of the recycler view. Then we set the adapter object into our recycler view. At last, we call the setup pagination function. In this function, we add the onscroll listener of the recycler view. This listener has a function called onscrolled. Here we calculate if the user has reached the bottom of the recycler view, and then we populate the recycler view with new additional data. Let's run the app. As you can see, the recycler view has been populated with the data that we had passed in it. And as I reach the bottom of the recycler view, new data gets populated in the recycler view. And if I keep getting at the bottom, the newer data would continue to populate and this becomes an endless recycler view. So that's it. That's how you can implement a recycler view pagination in Java Android. Thanks for watching.